This here is my biology notebook from my freshman year of high school. I swear I'm not a hoarder. So then why do I have an old high school notebook? Because it's just like hiring my 14 year old self to be a script writing intern. Sure, sometimes you have to fact check what she writes, but she's just so excited and earnest and willing to help. Kidding. So just like last week, there were some lectures from high school that I thought were really good explanations of the topics they were trying to cover and that still stick out in my mind. March 9th of 2004, a tour of the digestive system. So on the exam for this section, I remember that we had to demonstrate that we understood the digestive system by talking about how a hamburger and all of its different parts would be broken down as it moved through a human body. That test has always stuck in my mind, and so that's what we're gonna do today. Mechanical digestion begins as you take a bite out of your burger. Your teeth chew the food up and grind it into smaller particles. These smaller particles are mixed with saliva, which contains an enzyme known as salivary amylase. The amylase breaks starches down into smaller sugars, and so here's where we start to digest our hamburger bun. Salivary amylase is actually the reason why if you take a saltine cracker and you put it in your mouth and you let it sit for a while, the bland cracker will start to taste sweet. This is because the amylase is breaking down the starches in the cracker into smaller sugars, which you perceive as sweet. So back to the burger. So now your teeth have begun mechanical digestion of the food and the salivary amylase has started to break down the hamburger bun, and now your tongue forms the food into a wad called a bolus, which you swallow. The food moves through your pharynx and into your esophagus where peristalsis, rhythmic contractions of the esophagus, move it down into your stomach. Here's where the serious digestion business starts. Your stomach has glands that produce three main types of secretions. Secretion number one is mucus and it coats your stomach and helps prevent it from getting digested too, which is important. Secretion number two is hydrochloric acid or HCl. HCl helps convert secretion number three, pepsinogen, to pepsin. Pepsin helps break down proteins and what part of the burger is made out of protein but the burger itself. Also some of the cheese if you've got a cheeseburger. HCl also helps keep the pH of your stomach around two which helps digest the food and also helps kill small microorganisms. Your food spends about two to three hours in your stomach getting all churned up and then it is moved through the pyloric valve into your small intestine. At this point, the partially digested food is known as chyme. Your small intestine releases some additional peptidases which help break down proteins, as well as some additional carb and sugar digesting enzymes. Your pancreas also releases pancreatic fluid into the small intestine. This fluid contains amylases like our saliva as well as proteases which keep working on the protein in the burger and some lipases which will help break down the fats, so things like cheese or mayo on your burger. The pancreatic fluid also contains bicarbonate ions which help to neutralize some of that HCl from your stomach. Your liver also introduces bile into your small intestine which helps to emulsify fats so that they can be better absorbed by your body. And speaking of absorption, your body isn't just digesting food for the fun of it, it's doing it so that it can absorb the broken down molecules. Your body does this very efficiently in your small intestine because its surface is folded in on itself in structures called villi, and on those villi are even smaller folds known as microvilli. Essentially, the surface of your small intestine is folded on itself over and over and over again so that it can fit a lot of surface into a very small area and increase its absorption efficiency. So now your small intestine has done a lot of digestion and a lot of absorption, so it'll move the food onto the large intestine or the colon. So the colon's pretty cool because a lot of the digestion that happens here is actually due to a large population of bacteria that lives in your gut. These bacteria can help you break down things that you can't break down on your own, like the cellulose found in plants. Here is where the lettuce and the pickle on your burger would disappear. While in the large intestine, your body absorbs much of the remaining water from the food, leaving behind solid waste, which can then be excreted. 14 year old me didn't phrase that so politely. So there you go, all the parts of your hamburger digested via my high school biology notes. Go forth, do science. This is great, there are a bunch of my old tests and lab reports in here. This one I got 105 on. I don't know where that extra five points came from. Also, this exam, which I got 100 on, in which I memorized almost all of the important hormones and where they come from and what their function is, and I did it all perfectly when I was 15, but I could not for the life of me do this last year when I was studying for the GREs. But 15-year-old me, man, she had no problem.